<laughs> it is, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at Ooh. this. Yeah, plenty of room. Old supercharger box. Uh, yeah, that's a tight fit. Corbo race seat. So about a year, year and a half ago, we did a video on some seat covers from Custom Cover. Well, they've reached back out to us and they asked if we do another install video on a new product. This time around, they've stepped up their game. It's something new that they've come out with for the S550 Mustang. They make lots of different options for your Corvettes, Camaros, and lots of other cars out there too. So Custom Interior, go follow them on Instagram. Let them know that you saw this video. Visit the links down below for discount codes. But let's get rock and roll guys let's show you what they have come up with some new design something pretty special let's get to it so we got chris here from hpr guys he helped us just install the ess supercharger on the mach 1 mustang ess kit on a mach 1 if you're interested click on the cards above but also check out hpr but guys let's unbox these new seat covers see what they're all about let's see what custom interior has sent us yeah they sent us two boxes so i'm not really sure what we've got going on here and then this one is a little bit heavier chris made a three hour trip to deliver a corbo racing seat for a friend of mine 300 it is a true base true base 300a package so it's got the cloth seats Ooh. oh yeah <laughs> look at Ooh. this hang on hang on Yep. Guy like Christmas, you gotta rip it open. Oh. Those look freaking, dude. Those look good. Those look way better than before. If you didn't tell me different, I thought they were reupholstery covers. These things fit on your existing seats, just basically like OEM. They snap back in. See, we do have to take the seats out of the car to make sure that we have proper fitment. Wow. This is sick, dude. I like that. That is really nice. I can't use them in my Mach 1 because we have Recaro seats. Well, it's one thing I've been trying to hunt down is a nice set of leather seats for the car, but I love this. Yeah, look at the stitching. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So you get front seats, rear seats. They also make this same design in floor mats, so you can have a really spicy, fancy interior. And that actually might be what that is. I'm hoping. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. That's, so that's a back seat. That's a back seat. That is going to be the, that's the bottom. Yep. Man, those look good. Yeah, so they clip in the back right over your existing interior pieces. Here's a front seat. Yep. That's so sick. Look at the back. You've got your mat pocket still. And they can form perfectly to the seat so there's no like loose areas or any gaps. Yep, this is another one of the rears. Okay. And, and your headrests. If you have cloth interior, even if you have leather interior, like maybe you got a premium package car. This is still a good way to spice up your interior, but well, not only that, if you think about it, if you have factory sick. leather, you could actually protect your factory leather. That's true. Yep. You could take these off and from experience, you can actually wash these carefully and delicate and get rid of any stains or anything like that. But I mean, it's a, it's a leather up material. These things are freaking fancy, dude. I like this. I'm a little bit jealous now. <laughs> so this is a cloth Mustang interior seat. And it will definitely 100% not look the same after this, guys. No. It's gonna really spice up the interiors. This is gonna look so sick. Get this out of here. E85 life. Oh, I got jugs over there. If you need any extra jugs, <laughs> please take those things. They're like literally just hogging up my garage space. <laughs> it is, dude. Oh, it is. Oh, wait, is that a, tr wait, is that a trunk mat? Or is that... That's the freaking Holy floor crap. mat, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. And it goes around your seat. What? That's so nasty, dude. Oh my gosh, look, it's leather right here. Or rubber. Yeah. This is really well done, dude. That's so sick. That looks freaking so sick. Wait a minute, hold on. Passenger. Passenger. Is that That's the, for the back? Is that the trunk? Man, it's for back seats too. Oh my gosh, dude. Fit perfectly in your interior, so it'll fit in there like with this up against the center console. Yeah, if you're into shows and stuff like that, I, mean, I would rock the heck out of this in my daily. All right, so yeah, next step is we're gonna pull the seats uh, pretty much in full interior. I think he's already missing his back seat, so he's gonna have to locate one because I think he's gonna definitely wanna dress up uh, the entire car with this kit. But like I said, they make these for other than just Mustangs. So whatever car you have, check out their website, links down below and explore what they've got. But they have the old design that we saw in the video about a year and a half ago. And then we have the new design and these look freaking killer, dude. 
All right, so we're gonna get to work. We're gonna deinstall some seats and then uh, show you how they install because it's really easy. This new pair looks so much better. I'm a little bit jealous. I can't rock them in my car. Maybe the, maybe the bottoms I could, but uh, <laughs> not the seat covers. But anyway, so let's get to work, guys. Let's go. T55. Yep, perfect. Let me vacuum this before we make it look pretty. So the way this is gonna work, it's gonna literally slide over and then you have these clips where we're going to feed them through and then we're going to snap a couple of clips on the back or oh, i'm sorry on the underneath and these will just pass through and undo the back yeah we got to undo the back yep okay there we go yeah perfect oh huh. so these clips are just going to feed through tightly the back it's a tight squeeze but it's supposed to be, and then they're gonna rotate. So it will kind of conform down once everything is really tight. Okay. But you can already kind of see how well shaped it is. And then once it's fully tight and get some heat on it and you sit on it for a while, it'll just conform right to the seat. Mm. That looks sick already though. It does. So these, yeah. So you take these uh, J clips right here. Mm -hmm. And guys, you'll push. We will go all the way down, find a little place on the plastic right there okay and clip in on the top specifically but they have zippers which are going to aid so i do the zippers on the inside so you don't see it whenever you open the door yeah it looks like it's got that little thing for the yep so correct so then there's your pass through for yep. the seat belt and we're literally going to just put this over and then you can still get to your handle back here through this area dude that looks freaking wicked well this is raised too so maybe it'll you know, you won't be fit sitting so flat on the surface, so it won't be as hot. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. That's the only going to be the only telltale sign is a factory cloth seat. Yep. Now, do, do these tuck in underneath or no? Or um, the, yeah, I believe you can. See. But I'm not... Yeah, just like hey. that somehow. Yep. Hey, yep. there we go. Just like that. Yeah, just like doing my other leathers. I like that. That lo it looks OEM. Yep, and then I think you do the same thing with like probably back here on this. Yep. There we go. Perfect, dude. Yep. Still works. Everything is functional. Yep. Well. I really like the fact that yeah, you can tuck all the leather behind all these plastics. So on a convertible. Yeah, because that's what that's what that's for. Yep. Dude, freaking perfect, dude. I think on the bolster, it feels like it's a factory leather. Yeah, you can't really feel what's underneath it. And this will slide over existing leather if you so choose. It'd just be kind of a tight fit. Over cloth, obviously easier, but I like the fact that black with the silver is going to match the interior. So what we notice is in the sunlight, hopefully the camera will be able to pick this up, is it's not white stitching. It's like a bluish gray. Let's see if my shadow can not cover this up. Hopefully you guys can see that camera. It's freaking gnarly looking man against the blue mm -hmm. that's gonna look so sick i'm jealous <laughs> i've got ricaro seats on my mach one and i'm freaking jealous letting this one bake out in the sun and uh we're gonna get started on this one so this will bake out and this will come out in the sun with some heat oh, yeah. that's just from sitting packaging i want to show you the edges too you can see how close it fits to the bracket the plastic uh of the base of the seat here so to the untrained eye you may not even notice same over here kind of goes behind the plastic there we go. Factory first. Now let's get these. There we go. Let's install some seats. That looks freaking fire, man. <laughs> All right, hold that on. looks freaking money, dude. That looks so good. That's yeah, warm, so let's see what it is. Dude, that looks... <laughs> that looks freaking killer, man. So there's there's some clips that come with the uh, the floor mats down here. We're gonna figure out how to, they actually work, but our guess is they go into the plastic somehow to actually keep you know the mat down in place. Uh, so that way it doesn't slide around and stuff. But this is... I mean, this is a perfect fitment right here. This is so sick, dude. I imagine, yeah, you could actually almost even put this 
behind the plastics if you really wanted to. It looks probably like you could. probably could. Yeah, just go right underneath there. Let's find out. Yeah, we can give it a shot. Let's see. I'm gonna laugh at tugs. <laughs> That's gonna be tight. Let's see if that'll go underneath too. And then that can go, yup. <laughs> That's clipped in, yup. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Dude, that looks so sick. So I actually have cloth in my truck, but if they make these for the F-150, I'm definitely buying them. And I like, I like the little kicker here too. Yeah, so yeah, this is made to come down like this. And again, we have those clips we gotta figure out how to use. And then this comes back and it covers underneath the seat there. I slide this back up here. This could actually, you, it might actually be able to go like underneath these plastics too, I guess if you really wanted to try. But it needs something like this for the Mach 1. That's the bit, that's the worst thing about the Mach 1 is like Ford completely like forgot about the interior, you know? Except for the Recaros. Yeah, but even like, I wish they would have done like an orange stitch or something on the Recaros yeah, to make so it more yeah, special. I would figure like, cause you know, when they got the orange stripe cars, they got the red stripe cars, you figured they would tie it in somewhere in the car. Yep, yep, 100%. Again guys, discount codes in description to go pick up a set of these. And then we have the backs too, the back seat yep. portion, yep. Let's see here. Yep. <laughs> this, I like this completely it. covers all the factory carpet. Yeah, you could almost take your console out and this would tuck behind just like the front though. But I mean, yeah. honestly, it conforms just like it it should perfectly anyway. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, roll around the... Wow. Put that under the seat delete. I mean, and this is going to even sound crazy. If somebody's leasing a vehicle and you don't want to damage the carpets, this would be perfect. This is a great option. That's perfect. That's a good example. Yeah. This is... Look at this. <laughs> you got this whole pattern everywhere. Now, if you had back seats, it would just continue on. All right, we got the entire interior redecorated. Custom interior. Guys, go check them out. Like I said, this thing looks like a whole different car now. Freaking delicious, dude. So everything fits just perfectly back here. It's so good, so good looking. I'm in love with this. I really, really, really am. I personally would think it's worth it. Look at this. I mean, this, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's so sick. Yep, whenever you get some back seats, you yep. can Actually, he fix just, it up. He, yeah, he just told me, he said, like, come get them. So. There you go. All right, guys, about 30 minutes later, honestly, I mean, it'd be done faster if we weren't filming, but that's the video, guys. I'm thoroughly impressed with custom interiors, so go check them out. Follow them on Instagram. Check out the website. All links down below. I like the last design they came out with that we did on the red car, but this blows that design out of the water, so worth every penny, I think, but uh, yeah, hopefully Chris enjoys them. Yes, he seems I to be will. in love with them so far, yes. so... All right, guys, that's the video. I appreciate everybody out there watching, so go check out Custom Interior, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless all of you. Goodbye.